uh, what's it called? For the promotion. So this is why I'm like dripping. Your girl is dripping. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tato and this is Life and Tea. Welcome back, nice to see you all. So I just wanted to shoot this short video because a couple of weeks ago I made one video. If you haven't watched it, it'll be linked up here. I made a video about what I do to uh, my skin and how I take care of my skin because a lot of you guys had been asking about my skincare regimen. In that first video, I just emphasized the importance of drinking a lot of water and keeping yourself internally hydrated right and so this time i just wanted to like share with you all what i do on the daily like in terms of the external care for my skin okay so i just i just came back from a shower so this is why i'm like dripping your girl is dripping <laughs> i'm about to just moisturize and yeah let's let's get on with it okay so first things first i just want you guys to know that in no way am i you know sharing this as some kind of medical or dermatological advice i am not a dermatologist and i am not a skincare expert i'm just answering a question that a lot of you guys did have about what i do for my for my face right for my skin and so the first thing is like when i am in the shower or sometimes i step out of the shower and wash my face in the sink and i use soap to cleanse my face any kind of moisturizing non-drying soap will work just fine and this is the one that i've been using so far i'm just just dove right nothing nothing special there i think for me the main thing is just to not get my face dry like yeah, the more moisturizing the soap bar is, the better for my skin. Sometimes I will wait for the water to just dry off by itself before I apply any kind of lotion. But if I'm in a hurry, then I'll just like pet my skin dry. And then I will go in with my, literally you guys are gonna laugh at this. Vaseline. <laughs> so this is this is just Vaseline made with aloe extract and I use this brand and I've been using this brand since I was in high school guys like it's not even a joke. I remember talking to a friend of mine about this because we discovered this together when we were in high school and then we were put on this program where we had to like try it out and then give some feedback and stuff like that she didn't like it i liked it and literally it hasn't changed since then so i literally apply um vaseline to my face if you're african you cannot underestimate the value of vaseline i mean first i'll like put it on my hands and then just a little bit just a thin layer what i like about this vaseline is that it's not super thick so some of you guys might be familiar with the brand Blue Seal or, or the brand Vaseline itself, right? Um, so I found that very, very thick. And I prefer this one because it's very thin. It's very thin and it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So I just go in like that. Right? But I just make sure I get full coverage on my face. I get full coverage on my face, my forehead, everywhere. Right? <laughs> okay. Then when we're done with that, the cool thing is that I literally use this for every part of my body. I'll use it for my lips, I use it for my face everything so i just get the one time and i don't have to like exchange products i like to keep my stuff simple and then next i go in with this lipo cream which was suggested to me like some two years ago when i visited a dermatologist and he told me that this is great for just keeping the skin barrier thick and nice and juicy and if you think you have like thin skin or whatever this might be a product that you want to try out i've had this for a long time but like this was literally the first tub that i that i got and i still have it 
because I literally only use like a little bit. I literally only use about that much. And you can get this anywhere. I mean, I don't know about Japan, but I got this in Lesotho, so you can get it any pharmacy basically. So I'll go in like that. Mostly concentrate on my forehead. And I will apply it gently. Yeah, and even though it's so little, like you literally get coverage on your face. The entire face will be happy, mama. Let's maintain that, uh, what's it called? For the promotion and maintenance of the skin barrier function. Whatever that means, guys, I didn't listen to the guy. And I haven't had any issues with it. It's just maintenance. Okay. And then. Okay, guys, at this point, we have cleansed, we have moisturized. And the last thing that I do is to apply sunscreen. Now, guys, this has been a game changer because I think for the longest time of my life, I was not the kind of person that applies sunscreen on a daily basis. I don't know if it's because, you know, as a black person, you just think you're not gonna get sunburn or, you know. I don't know what it was. It was just not in my culture and not in the way that I was raised to like use sunscreen as a daily routine type of situation. I used to wear sunscreen when we went out to the pool with my friends and we knew that we were gonna be out in the sun all day. Literally, that was the only time <laughs> that I wore sunscreen. And I like to open this up to debate, guys. Like, let me know if you are the kind of person that wears sunscreen every day or like just on certain occasions, because I feel like I'm not the only one who wasn't used to this. But like literally since last year, since December to be exact. So it's only been a couple of months since I have been using sunscreen to protect my face every single day. And I feel like this has been <laughs> such a game changer to my daily routine because like, honestly, I apply like a thin layer of sunscreen and this is not even like, this is SPF 36. I'm sure, you know, your doctors will probably like tell you to get SPF 50 or something else. I do have another kind. This is, this is La Vita. Some of you might know La Vita Living Products. Uh, we just had it at home and so I picked it up and got that however i do have i do have another kind here spf 50 sultan and that's the one that i use when i'm legit just you know gonna be out in the ocean here in okinawa or like having fun with my friends for a full day i think i use that one but on a daily basis i think the la vita one still works and so i use a little bit just a little bit and i apply that and if I feel like that was not enough, I'll just like get some more. Guys, since I started using sunscreen, first of all, I feel like my skin tone has been a bit more even. You know, I used to have like acne scars on my forehead and I feel like they have been reducing. It's not completely gone, but definitely like, I don't know, man, the sunscreen just helps to even out everything. And even though you might look shiny for a bit, I mean, it depends on you as a person, but I personally do not mind being shiny, I don't care. So, like, honestly, this is how I finish my shower and facial care routine. Like, check that out. <laughs> and I feel like, yeah, all the blemishes and like dark spots, hyperpigmentation that I had, has been slowly like reducing and i feel like this is the one thing that i added to my regimen just in the past three months and so i feel like just give credit where credit is due and i'll just apply that on the parts of my body that are going to be exposed when i go out <laughs> i don't apply sunscreen on my entire body let me know if that's wrong <laughs> i apply it on my face my neck and parts of me that are gonna be like outside you know so let me know if you think 
I should be applying it from top to bottom as well. I'll be happy to hear you guys' comments. But yeah, this is literally all I do to take care of my face. Yeah, if this was helpful to you, please like the video. Please feel free to share the video with somebody else. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share the video with your people as much as possible. I really, really thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.